Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that Windows 11 22H2 will run on. Previously we've done this video with Windows 11, Windows 10, and all kinds of fun operating systems, but now we're on the latest and greatest. So right now this machine is running on, I believe, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Believe it or not, I don't really remember Windows 11 boot on previously. I do know that Windows 10 was able to boot on 176 megabytes. However, that was with a 32-bit OS, and Windows 11 is not a 32-bit OS. So yeah, we have 4 gigs of RAM installed. So it'll be interesting to see, like, what, what will this new version of Windows 11 successfully boot on? As per our last video, which was the Windows 10 to 11 unsupported upgrade, we know that Windows 11 already supports 2 gigs of RAM because that's what we installed it on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut straight down just to 1 gig of RAM. No doubt that this won't boot. I think this will boot perfectly fine. All right, and here we are, perfectly fine. One gigabyte of RAM. Some things are a little slow, not sure if that's related to the RAM amount or not. Uh, but just to see in Task Manager, we can see, ooh, we're very close. We're using 1,980 megabytes. That's a lot of the RAM. Actually, uh, let's force shut down. No, not suspend. Force shut down, because the regular shutdown would take way too long. And I don't want to cut it in half, but let's go, like, I want to go 768. I think that's right in the middle, like 512 and 1024. All right, and here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at our RAM amount, 768 megabytes. Wow. I'm not surprised. I knew Windows would do this, but it, it is starting to slow down, as we can see. Seven. Th okay, seven, some, 730 out of 767. Lots of our memory is being consumed right now, but way we can try it again. Let's cut down to 512. I think that Windows is perfectly fine on 512. I lied. 512 megabytes is not enough. Maybe we have to increment down. So if I go 768, I'm going to go, come on, 768. What if I go down to like 6... 90 something so if I go like 698 maybe it requires like an incrementing down because we've seen that in Windows builds before We're trying 688 megs of RAM. All right, and here we are inside of Windows 11 on I don't even remember It was in the 600s. I think going ahead and taking a look come on task manager Going here 663 out of 687. So it looks like Windows is trying to adapt All right, let me see uh, I'm gonna go down like uh, 612. We'll try that. Hopefully, get down to 512 eventually. All right, and 612 megabytes of RAM we are in somehow. I'm not really sure how. 98% memory usage. 591, 597 out of 611. Okay. I mean. We're surviving. We're not doing great, though. Okay, we're going to increment below 500. We'll go 560. I feel like that should work. Okay. Well, 560 is not enough. Wow, I'm kind of disappointed in Windows 11 right now. So we'll try 588. Hopefully this is enough. And here we are. 588 I believe I'm not entirely sure I don't even remember um, let, let's see man Windows 10 was able to go 176 megs but this can't even go 560 kind of ashamed of Windows right now I mean although the practicality of someone running this on this weird amount of RAM is very little but okay yeah 588 we're booted but it's really slow okay so if this is real, our minimum lies between 588 and 560, so I'm going to go 576. We'll try this out for us. All right, here we are. Let me take a look and see if I go to, come on, load, task manager. How are we doing? All right, let's see, 552 out of 575. We are starting to lag a lot, like I'm noticing it a lot right now. So we'll go 568. Let's try it. 568 is not enough. So I think that leaves us with 
572. I think that's the only one that we have left. All right, let's take a look and see here. If I go task manager, let's take a look here. Okay. So I think this should be the lowest amount of RAM we can run on, 572, because 568 did not boot before, and I'm going to assume it's still like that. Let's try again, but I think 568 might be the end. Maybe not. Okay, it keeps getting more interesting. I have seen this before, though, where Windows likes to do this sometimes. I'm not sure why, though. All right, it booted, so... Let's see, 564, I'm going to go 560. 560 is not enough, so we're going to have to go 564, assuming I, can hit the, assuming I can hit the right button. All right, so we booted on 564. If we boot on 560, I'm going to give up, because there's no way I'm going to increment by 4 for the next hour to eventually get down to, like, 312. Please don't boot. It's going to boot. Look at that. So we are really going to have to sit here and increment down 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 to figure this out. I'm not even going to check task manager at this point. We're just going to keep going and going and going until we get that message. So 560, success. 560, 556. Our minimum is 560 megabytes. Kind of disappointed in Microsoft because it was not this low before. It used to be like... I know Windows 10 was 176, I think Windows 11 was in the 300s, and 22H2 is now in the 500s. So is Windows becoming more RAM consuming? Probably. I mean, I believe it. So that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.